What is going on everybody? It is week 9 in the NFL and I am back with some more game picks. They will start with the Thursday night football game at 8.20 p.m. It's the 5-2 and two Green Bay Packers against the 4-4 four four San Francisco 49ers. Aaron Rodgers is 4-6 and six in his career against San Francisco, but the Niners are going to be without pretty much every single one of their starting players on both sides of the ball. Uh, they were bit by the injury bug horribly, and it's it's not going to help them in this game where they where they meet uh, an Aaron Rodgers who is going to be ready to kill. He has has now been embarrassed twice by the Minnesota Vikings and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I'm sure Aaron Rodgers is ready to tear a team apart. And the Niners are going to have a tall task ahead of them with the Green Bay Packers, so they're going to be my pick. I'll take Green Bay. Then on Sunday, we have the Baltimore Ravens and the Indianapolis Colts. Both teams are 5-2. and two. Indianapolis, all-time, is 6-0 and oh at home versus Baltimore. I think this is going to, uh, to put a 1 in the column there, in the loss column. I think that Baltimore is going to be able to get the win against Indianapolis. I just don't trust Phillip Rivers, against, against, especially against a defense like this in Baltimore. So I'm going to take the Ravens in this game. Then the New York football Giants will take on the Washington football team in Washington. The New York Giants won four straight games against Washington. I, Even though the Giants are 1-7 and, and the football team are 2-5, and five, I just can't. Like I said a few weeks ago, I will never pick the football team to beat the Giants, so I'm taking New York. <clears throat> then the Texans and the Jaguars, both teams are 1-6. Houston has won five straight games against Jacksonville. They're my pick. Give me Deshaun Watson and the Texans. Then the Seattle Seahawks at 6-1 take on the 6-2 Buffalo Bills. Russell Wilson in his career is 9-1 versus the AFC East. That continues. Russell Wilson, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. They're just too good. They are too good, and they will beat Buffalo on Sunday. Then the Carolina Panthers at 3-5 and, and the Kansas City Chiefs at 7-1. Kansas City is 16-1 in their last 17 games. Congratulations, Las Vegas. You are the one in 16-1. The Panthers have no shot to win this game. Give me Kansas City. The Denver Broncos at 3-4 and, and the Atlanta Falcons at 2-6. and six. Denver have won. Denver has won three of their last four games after losing their first three. So they're on the upward trend. Hopefully Drew Locke plays a better game. They have all the tools to win. Uh, they just can't let Atlanta drop a lot of points early, even though they'd probably blow that lead anyway. But uh, I'm going to take Denver. Then the Chicago Bears at 5-3 and three take on the 5-2 and two Titans. Tennessee has won two of their last three versus Chicago. I think that becomes three of the last four. I'm not a fan of the Bears right now. Uh, the fact they couldn't pull off a, a win against the Saints is really, really damning to them. So uh, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take Tennessee. They need a get back game, and this is going to be a great one to do it in. So give me the Titans. Then the three and four Lions versus the two and five Vikings. Minnesota has won five straight versus Detroit. That will become six straight. I will take Minnesota. Then the the Las Vegas Raiders at four and three take on the Los Angeles Chargers at two and five. Justin Herbert right now has the NFL rookie record for yards per game averaged with three hundred and three point three. This kid is balling out. Yeah, he's only two and five, but he's got what it takes to win. And I don't think the Raiders have enough defensively to stop him. So give me Justin Herbert and the Chargers. Then the 7-0 Steelers will take on the 2-6 Cowboys. The Cowboys are currently between Cooper Rush and uh, Garrett Gilbert, I do believe, for who's going to start this game at quarterback. And Pittsburgh has scored 25-plus in seven straight games. That's a team record. So I I'm going to take I'm gonna take Pittsburgh. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys have less than zero chance to win this game. Then the Miami Dolphins at 4-3. Versus the Atlanta Cardinals at 5-2. and two. Arizona's won three of their last four versus Miami. And the Dolphins are playing their rookie quarterback, Tua Tagovailoa. Give me Arizona. They're my pick. 
Then Sunday night football, the New Orleans Saints at 5-2 and two and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 6-2. and two. And it's a battle of the NFL's top two all-time passing leaders. Check down Charlie and Big Game Tom. Give me Brady and the Bucks. Then Monday night football, the 2-5 and five Patriots and the 0-8 Jets. New England has won eight straight games versus the Jets. That will stretch to nine. Give me Cam Newton and New England in a get-back game. So there you have it. Week 9 in the books. Teams on by are going to be the Rams, the Bengals, the Eagles, and the Browns. And that will do it for Week 9 in the NFL. We're more than halfway done. More than halfway done. I don't like it. But everybody enjoy some football. Everybody enjoy some football on Thursday, Sunday, Monday. And I will catch each and every one of you next week when we hit double digits in week 10.